In this video, we're going to focus on how we can shorten the data labels like this here. And you might see here we have the 12 billion. We even have 18 million with the M. And we also have 9K for the thousands. And of course, we have the standard number three and nine. And you will notice that these are just so condensed because the proportion of it is huge. However, let's start to look how we can use these data labels and use these letters like K, M, and B to define large numbers. So let's start to look how to shorten data labels with large numbers in Chart.js. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our boiler template, which you can find on Chart.js3.com, getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy the boiler template here, all the way down here. Copy this. And if you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. I'll paste that in there. And once I paste it in there, I will also move the title in here. Save, refresh. There we are. So once we did that, I want to maximize the size of the chart. Let's make this 80% so the bar chart will be larger. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the data labels plugin so that eventually we have the data labels in here. To get the data labels plugin, you can go to cdnjs.com and search for the chart.js plugin data labels. Once you're on here, copy that. And I think the latest version right now is 2.1.0. So just grab the one you need. Once you did this, we're going to put it in here after the chart.js uh, JavaScript library. So this needs to load after that. Why? Because this has certain values that are in here. So this is dependent on this here. So once we did this, if I save this refresh, you will you will see it will not work yet. And the reason why is we need to activate the plugin. So you see here the curly braces. After the options curly braces, we're going to say here plugins, and we activate this by saying chart data labels. If we save this refresh, you can see here now we have this nice up and running. All right. So what we're going to do next is eventually put in here a value and in JavaScript, we are allowed to do underscore zero zero. And this is just an easier way to read thousand numbers or numbers with huge thousand millions and billions. So as you can see here, this works. So no problem with that. And this one is fine here, but I can imagine you might want to say here showing the number of, uh, let's say 18 K instead of 1000. So we want to convert this. How do we do this? Well, we go into the options now. And after the skills, we we'll put a comma. We're going to say here plugins. And then in this plugins, we're going to activate or well, we already activated here with the plugins, but now we're going to access the plugin options, which has a shorthand of data labels like this. And then what we want to do here is use the formatter function. And I have a whole video series about this, which I will show you at the very end. But the formatter allows us to control and adjust the structure or format the structure of our text or data label. To do this, first of all, I want to show here how this looks like. So we have this callback functionality and we'll just use two parameters, the value and context. And then we'll put in here a function arrow expression. And all I want to do here is a console log save value save refresh open up the, the developer tab and you can see here we have here now the values showing of the data labels and all of them are being shown as you can see here but of course because the others had such a low value the bar set is basically almost uh, compressed together however that doesn't matter because we're going to focus on this one here so how do we solve then this well, basically what we can say here is the following. We just create a very simple if statement. And I'm going to say here, if the value that we have would be bigger than 1000, in that case, what I want to do here is to, and uh, let's make the value 1000 like this. So it's easy to read, return the following. I want to get the value and I want to divide this by 1000. And once I did that, Afterwards, I want to concatenate. So I say plus and I have a quotation here and then we have a space and a K for 1000. So once I did this, save this, refresh, you can see here, this is now 1000 K. And of course, if I go up here, 
if I have another one, save, refresh. But of course, this is only for 1000. What about if you have other options here? Because right now we have this if statement. What I want to do as well is else return just the value itself. That should be as well an option. Save this. There we are. So we have this, although it was already showing, so it doesn't matter so much. However, what happened if we have a larger number? For example, 1 million. If I save this now, you can see here we have a problem. And the problem is it doesn't recognize it anymore. Uh, or at least the structure should be adjusted. So let's adjust this as well. So what we're going to do is we can just copy this. But then what I want to do is I want to put it here up. And the reason why I will put it up here, I will show you later on. And I'm going to say here, just underscore 1 million. So if the value is bigger than 1 million, I'm going to refer this as the M. Save this, refresh. And the reason why I'm doing it is 1 million, because if it would be bigger than 1000, this is true as well. So, so if I would put it here up, it will not recognize the million option, it will only recognize the thousand option by default, as you can see here. It shows again 18,000K. So that's why we want to make sure that it's like this structure and we could go very deep. We can say here also, what if we have 1 billion, copy this, put that in there and say here the letter B for billion and put it up here. And then we say underscore like that, save. 18 billion all right that works so if i do this then we have also 18 million and you can see here the 12,000. so this works all nicely and that's basically it how you can play around with the formatter so if you enjoyed this video on how you can adjust these large numbers and maybe you want to know more about the data labels plugin i have an entire data labels plugin series here explaining every option that the data, lab uh, data labels plugin has for Chart.js. So in that case, highly recommend to explore this entire video series as well.